Meet Cassandra, a woman in her mid-30s, living in Bar Harbor with her pet python, Reggie. Despite people's concerns about living with such an unusual pet, she had developed an unshakable bond with Reggie. To deepen their relationship, Cassandra began to spend more time with Reggie. They played, cuddled, and spent time together every day. However, she noticed a troubling change in Reggie's behavior, as he refused to eat and showed more agitation than usual. Concerned for Reggie's well-being, Cassandra took him to the vet, where an ultrasound revealed that Reggie had been preparing his body for a large meal. The vet told her, you see, Reggie's stomach is completely empty, which is highly unusual for a python of his size. I believe he's been preparing his body for a large meal, and that's why he hasn't been eating. Snakes are capable of consuming prey significantly larger than themselves, owing to their remarkable ability to unhinge their jaws. Cassandra couldn't believe it, but what could he possibly be preparing to eat? I've tried offering him various foods, and he's refused them all, she stuttered desperately. Dr. Hansen the vet hesitated, glancing at the massive python before locking eyes with Cassandra. His voice was heavy with concern as he said, Ms. Turner, I think Reggie has been sizing you up as his prey. By stretching out alongside Cassandra, the python had actually been assessing her dimensions. Essentially, Reggie was rehearsing how to approach his next substantial meal. He had been biding his time, waiting for the ideal moment to capture his prey. Cassandra's heart sank, and she couldn't believe her ears. She stammered, that's impossible. Reggie would never hurt me. We have a special bond. He's my companion, my friend. Dr. Hansen sighed and replied, I understand how you feel, but Reggie is still a wild animal and his instincts are strong. I urge you to reconsider your sleeping arrangements and take this seriously, for your own safety. A shiver ran down her spine when she realized that her beloved Reggie might have been preparing to consume her while she slept. It was hard to fathom that what she had considered bonding, was nothing more than Reggie assessing her as potential prey. The notion that she had contemplated whether the snake was watching over her at night now seemed disturbing. In truth, he had been watching and patiently waiting for his next meal. Despite her protests, Cassandra couldn't ignore the facts. Dr. Hansen explained that pythons were known to be opportunistic hunters, and Reggie's behavior was consistent with that of a snake preparing for a big meal. He urged her to reconsider her living situation with Reggie, suggesting she find a more suitable home for him. Cassandra returned home, her mind racing. She couldn't bring herself to accept that the creature she loved so dearly could ever harm her. She needed to know the truth. Her mind started racing as she went over her options. That night, Cassandra devised a plan to test Reggie's intentions. She placed a life-sized mannequin in her bed, covering it with her scent. Then, she hid in the corner of the room, watching Reggie's every move. Reggie slithered toward the bed, eyeing the mannequin cautiously. He began to coil around the lifeless figure, his body tightening with each loop. Cassandra's heart pounded in her chest as she realized Dr. Hansen's warning might be true. As Reggie tightened his grip around the mannequin, the unmistakable sound of cracking plastic echoed through the room. Cassandra stifled a gasp, her eyes filling with tears. She knew she couldn't deny it any longer. Reggie, her beloved python, had been preparing to consume her all along. It became clear to Cassandra that Reggie's true intentions were far from comforting, and she realized that she had been blind to his true nature all along. In the end, Cassandra had to make the difficult decision to give up Reggie to a sanctuary where he could live out the rest of his life in a more suitable environment. Cassandra's story is a reminder that no matter how much we may love and care for an animal, they are still wild creatures with natural instincts that we cannot control. It is important to respect their natural instincts and behaviors, especially when they are not domesticated, and to seek professional help and advice before keeping them as pets. Please like share and subscribe for more interesting videos.